Hi, it's Lenica from Lens Crafty Life, and this is my entry for Jeannie Dreamer, and she has a glove challenge going on. Now, this all started off with Shaz's New Year's challenge, Shaz from uh, Crafted Seasons, but uh, I'm sure you probably know by now. We are on to Genie, so it's a challenge that goes on and on and on because you don't have to send in anything, you just have to make something or alter something and the winner gets to decide what we will alter the next month or what we will make the next month. So Genie won last month's challenge and she wanted us to alter a glove. Now I didn't have a glove and I said to Genie, well if I really can't find any then I will just make one myself. But last week I was at the other side of the country and I'm sure you've seen my um, my wonderful charity shop craft haul from that. But I did go to another charity shop as well and I found a glove and I literally, literally found a glove. There was only one of these and this is the back. It was a very simple kind of, well very simple, I can't do this, but a very plain knitted or crochet well I think it's knitted glove but it was white and there was only one of them and I thought well that will suit me fine a glove is a glove it's white which is perfect and I only need one anyway so I picked it up there and what I did is of course I wanted to make it a bit more lacy a bit more chic so um, first of all I had this beautiful trim it's like a triple layer trim that I got from Belinda Coombs and I put that all around the cuff because the cuff is very plain again but if you put it like this you can hardly see it so that makes it a bit more chic then I had apart from a scarf that I'd cut off which goes actually from here all the way to the pompons here that is one piece of lace and it was from a scarf so I wrapped that around the glove so this whole piece it's also at the back and basically for the thumb I cut in like a little slit here you can see that because there's no lace on this side of the thumb there is on the top side so I just put the thumb through it and just wrapped it all around so that's the, f the, the second thing I did then I put on this beautiful wedding applique that I had because I wanted to see if I could make this very plain uh, glove into a little bit of a very chic glove. So put some wedding applique on there. This is all one piece. Then I had this beautiful kind of trim and I put just a little bit on it right there with some pearls and some silvery glass beads. And so that it would just look like a ring on the ring finger. I've seen that on some, some gloves and uh, that they had something like it made it look like a ring. So and then I put on this trim with a, a flat back pearly beads just to finish that off. And then okay then I did the fingers I did that separately so I did put some little snippets of um, lace on each individual finger just till there basically and I did the same with the the thumb here at the top because that's what you see now I won't put it on because it was already very tight I've got quite large hands so <laughs> most gloves are usually too small for me and this one was as well I guess you could put it on if you have a small hand and um, this has become a little bit tighter of course because of the trim that I put around it but if you have a very small hand like Jeannie Dreamer you could probably wear this <laughs> I fit still in it and this is the back so it's really a, a glove for decoration because there's only one anyway and I thought it ended up quite pretty I'm quite pleased with this so it's not gloriously beautiful because uh, it's not like a silk glove that would, would have been even even more genie dreamers glove is absolutely stunning and there's more stunning gloves out there that people made but uh, I'm quite pleased with this so thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope you like it and uh, let me know <laughs> what you think of it and um, we'll see who the winner is okay bye bye